you are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today where we are going to create. And we're going to create based on a project that we did a few weeks ago. So if you remember, we made a vertical axis and a horizontal axis. We divided that into equidistant points and then we used a ruler to connect those points. So we connected the top one on this axis to the first one there. And through drawing the series of straight lines, we created curves. We are going to do the same thing today, but we're going to use different materials. So we're going to use a piece of wood, some nails, and yarn. So basically, I have just replicated this axis here, fix that this axis here. The nails are the points on the axes and we're going to do the same basic process. I took my yarn and I untwisted the four ply and made it into two ply just because I like that look better. It's thinner, it's easier to use. So we're going to do the same basic thing with these points on these axes as we did on the paper. So I'm going to start off by attaching my yarn to that first spike and I'm just going to twist it around. So the first one, the top one, goes down to this first one. You can use any color yarn that you want. I'm going to take it over to the next one and go back to the second one. And then I'm going to twist it around the third one there. And now I'm going to go over to the next one and do the same thing around, down one more. And we're going to go over and then over again. Same thing, down to that one, and over to the last one. And we've created our curve. So I'm going to finish that off by trimming that one, going around one more time. So you can attach it on by tying a knot or gluing it, or the like guy I'm doing is just a little dab of a little piece of tape to hold it in place. All right, let's do that again with this side. So I'm going to start again by first attaching my string. And yep, I'm using a piece of tape just to save time. So around that one, we're going to go over to that one, go around, go over to the next one, go around that one, bring it down and around, then over to the next one. Around, over to the next one, back around, over to the next one. Around, over to the next one, back over this way, around, down to the next one, and around that. going to grab this side of the string. And so that was a pretty quick project and and here's the finished piece. I'll bring it closer so you can see it. So we did it more like that. I feel like I want to display it like that. You are free to display yours however you like. 
And I hope you enjoyed this quick little start on string art and that you will give it a try. I love creating the curves from the straight lines. And I hope that you will join me again when we'll be back to explore and create. And until then, I hope that you continue to use your curiosity to explore the world and your creativity to improve it. And thank you.